Hi there. Now, in this video, I'm just going to be looking at part C of this question, where we've got to find the magnitude of the impulse of the ball in the first impact with the ground. So, if you'd like to have a go at this, haven't had a chance to do it, just give you a moment to pause the video, and when you come back, I'll take you through the method so you can check your work solution against mine. Okay, welcome back then, if you had a go. So, what we've got then is, and I'm just going to draw a sketch for this, as I would normally do, by the way, for any impulse question. We've got the ball as it hits the ground, okay? It's got a mass, we know, of 0 0.3 kilograms. And I'm going to be looking at before impact, so just put that on the left-hand side here, and then after impact. So before impact, we found out in part A that the ball hit the ground with a speed of root 4g. Okay, so I just put that in as the root of 4g meters per second there. And then in part B, we had to find out the speed that it left the ground. And that we found out to be root of 3g. So during this impact, this ball is going to receive an impulse in this direction. I'll signify it by that symbol, and we'll call it I, okay? I for impulse. So impulse is a vector quantity, and I'm going to need to put down a positive sense. And I would always encourage you to put the positive sense in the direction of the impulse. So that's going to be upwards as positive. So what is impulse? We should be familiar with this, that impulse is equal to the change in momentum. Just write that in there. And as a formula itself, that change in momentum, remember momentum is mass times velocity. It's going to be the mass times the final velocity v minus the mass times the initial velocity u. So for this question, the mass is 0 0.3, and then the final velocity is root 3g. And it's in the positive sense, going upwards there. So that's root of 3g. And then it's minus the mass again, so that's 0 0.3, times the initial velocity, which was this one. But it's downwards in the opposite sense to what we've got here. So that's going to be negative root of 4g. So if you work this one out on your calculator, you should find you get 3.504 and so on. And this will be measured in Newton seconds. So if I give this to three significant figures, that's 3.50 Newton seconds to 3 SF, three significant figures for short. Now, in questions on impulse, it's very easy to trip up, I find. So do take care over your negative senses, okay, when it comes to velocity. So there we go. Hope you've been able to get that or at least see uh, where you might have gone wrong if it caused any problem. Okay.